If you are struggling with how to add custom icons to the footer menus, today's video will show you two different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you in the CAD and Steam Pro. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie, a place to help you grow your WordPress business. I appreciate if you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any of the tutorials. The first method I talk about is by using a widget to add icons to the site's links inside the WordPress customizer. This is a beautiful Cadence travel website template designed to deliver unforgettable travel experience with a positive impact. Scrolling down to the footer area, there it is. It has a four columns design layout, one for the company details, the other ones displaying useful links and events calendar. The goal is to add custom icons to the second and the third columns. Navigating back to the WordPress dashboard, the first method I will use the ultimate menu feature option of the Cadence Team Pro. My plugin list consists of Cadence Plug 3 and the Pro versions, the Cadence Pro add-on for the Cadence team, and the Events Calendar. Cool! The next step is to head over to the menu inside Appearance. Here, we find all the created menus. If I click here, we can pick the menu names we need to customize. For the footer, the menu is Find Events. So I click it from the drop-down list. I got eight menu items. I open up the first one by clicking on this down arrow. We see a menu item settings button. This is a feature from the Cadence Team Pro add-on. Moving on, inside the menu item settings is where we add the icon to the footer menu. Within the menu item icon, do a quick search for the icon you want to head to the first menu link. I want this one. Now I determine whether it's a left or right icon side. I also determine the icon color for the footer link. For the icon size I want a 100 size percent and save and that's it. In just a few clicks we have set up the icon for the first custom link. Close the panel by clicking on the close icon. And I open up the next one. Select the menu item settings button. Determine now the icon side and the icon size. Repeating the same procedure for the remaining menu items. On the menu item icon, select the icon you want to head. Click on the save button. I fast forward the video now so you don't waste any necessary time. I gotta finish this. There's nothing new to watch here. Let's check now on the front end. I'm refreshing the home page. Scrolling down now. There you have it. They were added exactly where I wanted. Cool. Just like I wanted. The next method I want to show you is by using the cadence hook elements or element hooks. Let's proceed. From the WordPress admin dashboard, select the elements menu tab. Once you click, you have to decide if you want to create a default element or a fixed one. Select the default one. With this option, you can build the element using the customizer blocks. This Cadence Team Pro feature provides an, in an interface to build an element using the WordPress Gutenberg editor and hook it to one of the several locations of your site's page, so it appears exactly and where and when you want to. I call it contact because I want to replace the default entire column. I click on the plus icon to start creating inside the Gutenberg editor. I search for the icon list block. I use this block to create my new contact menu link. I type in contact. From the toolbar, select the link to head the URL. There it is, the contact page. Select the block now to customize the icon to the right hand side. Click on the settings icon at the top. In the edit all icon styles, select the icon you want to use. 
it will override the individual list item settings. I want a phone icon. Cool! The footer background is green, so the icon color should be white. I select the white color. Also, within the item settings, I've added the URL. Now, I determine the element settings. I click on this little icon at the top. In the display settings, I determine to be shown on the entire site. Within the user settings, I determine to be visible to all users. And voila, publish your settings. Navigate now to the Elements tab. Copy the shortcode. Over to the Customizer. Click on this little pencil icon or shift click to edit the footer. We enter to the block widgets. Click on the plus icon to add a block widget. I insert a HTML block now. In the box, I paste here the shortcode. Immediately, you can see the hook element to your right hand side. Publish. At the front end, at the front end, I refresh. I always want to check out. There we go. My footer area is customized and optimized the way I want it. If the video was helpful, please take a second to subscribe to this channel. It's free, it means a lot to me. It takes only one second and don't forget to smash the bell icon so you get notified whenever I release new content. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video.